There was a final goodbye today for Wayne Curry, the former top office holder in Prince George's County, who died last week at the age of 63. As Fox 5's John Henrahan reports, the funeral ceremony was anything but somber. Wayne Curry was handsome, vital, pugnacious, and wildly successful as a businessman attorney and as a politician. Wayne, Scores of Maryland office holders turned out for Curry's funeral service, including U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski, who recalled Curry was as horrified as she was when bureaucrats decided to build a barbed wire fence around a federal building in Prince George's County. I will chain myself to the fence. Wayne jumped up and said, I've got your back. I'll hold the ladder. I'll raise the bail bond. I'll be your lawyer. We are in it together. The state's current governor, Martin O'Malley, told Wayne Curry's adult children their father made a difference. I believe that he was a giant of a man, not because of the amount of his accomplishments, but because of the depth of his caring. The fact that he was unafraid to care. Wayne Curry, never before having run for office, stunned the political establishment by winning the race for county executive in Prince George's County in the early 90s. He was then re-elected to a second term. He was our blazing talent. He was our symbol of vitality. Yes, he was our champion. He set the agenda for this county. Wayne Curry was famous for hard bargaining and blunt language. His brother, Daryl Curry, during a remembrance, seemingly got a phone call from heaven complaining that Wayne Curry was stirring things up, causing consternation. No, oh, don't send him down there. He's been given that to... The phone supposedly then gets passed to the former Prince George's County executive. Wayne, Wayne, really? Really, Wayne? It appeared that more than 2,000 people came for the final farewell for their hard-charging, one-of-a-kind, former county executive, Wayne Keith Curry. In Prince George's County, John Henrahan, Fox 5 Local News.